Mark or Colbert, Speed of Cover Finish Network. All right, we're going to be doing some chameleon today. I'm going to show you guys step by step how to do chameleon paint if you've never done it before. Um, very simple. So we're going to start with the Speed of Cover Jet Black. Now, this stuff covers extremely good. You don't have to put it on heavy. Um, we're doing a really light dust coat. This is super light first coat. Now, as you guys can see, it's already getting crazy good coverage. As far as prep on the panels, um, it's very important when you're doing chameleon paint to sand up to 800 grit because you will see every sand scratch in those pigments when you start putting down your chameleon pigment. So um, off to the second coat, once again, one more light coat. You don't have to go super heavy with the stuff. We did two light dust coats and pretty much got full coverage. I think I may have done one more light dust coat after that, but all coats were extremely light, not even putting on, on the paint you know, heavy at all. So moving on to the chameleon. Now, depending on the brand, um, all brands are different, depending on what brand you go with and all that other good stuff. Um, some you can put on wet, some you can put on, you know, mist coat, dry. Um, you really just got to get a test panel and test out and see how it lays out, um, you know, depending on how thick you put it on. This one I went, you know, first coat I went medium wet. And then, you know, your second coat, you know, that's when you kind of pull the gum back, you know, like we're doing right here and just kind of miss the paint on. And get rid of that blotchiness from the first coat because your first coat will always come out a little bit blotchy. Um, second coat, control coat, clean all that up. And you can also do a third control coat if needed. Um, sometimes it is. Now, I'm actually super happy this happened on camera. You guys can see if you look really closely, the bottom of that fender, I messed up really bad. There was a little bit of solvent in the air cap of my gun and it splattered on there. So how you fix this is you go back to black, okay? Dust a little bit of black over the area you messed up. And then go back to Chameleon and, you know, basically kind of fan it out. You guys see kind of just fan it over the area and kind of blend it in like you would like a regular base coat. And as you guys can see, wow, fix that mid job, lucked out on that one. And I've done this a couple times, but I uh, can't even tell where I started and stopped the paint. Moving along to the clear coat, guys, I got to say the Fast Ride Euro Clear is probably one of the most revolutionary clears on the market, um, especially one of the ones the Speedo Coast came out the last two years, probably one of my favorites. This is probably the only high solids clear I've ever used in my life that you could spray in under 35 degree weather and it would still dry up and, and dry good and cure good. Um, and in you know 50 degree weather, this stuff has like maybe a five or six minute flash and that is extremely hard to find out of a high solids Euro clear or, or any high solids clear at all. Most high solids clear, it's a minimum of, you know, a 15 minute flash. Um, so to get a high solids clear that magically can flash off in five to eight minutes, um, you know, in 40 to 50 degree weather um, is really, really good. Now it takes a little bit longer, obviously in the cold to flash mm -hmm. off, but this clear coat, it lays down effort effortlessly. You guys can see, I'm just kind of piddling around, just messing around the shop. Um, you know, this stuff is really easy to apply. Um, as you guys can see, it puts out an amazing finish. We got a couple dust sims here and there in this job. I wasn't too um, concerned about it all, but sand and polish out. But um, nice, even metallic layout. The chameleon came out great. Got, got a really even layout with that. Um, the gl gloss on the clear looks really, really good. And this is basically, guys, this is how you do chameleon. You do your two coats of jet black. Make sure you up sand 800 grit before you put your jet black down. Um, two to three coats of chameleon after that and two coats of clear and you're done it's that easy whether you're a diy guy or professional auto body technician these products are designed to work with you not against you if you guys are looking for the best most affordable auto body products in the world head on over to www.speedocoat.com they have everything you need to get your projects done like subscribe new videos every week